In this video, I wanted to show you all the different things that you can do with the t-shirt maker on Vexels. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and I wanna teach you how to design and sell t-shirts online. In this video, I wanna show you how you can use the t-shirt designer on Vexels. So last time, uh, on Vexels a uh, few videos ago, I showed you how to um, do some designs on there, get some graphics and things like that, and then do it in Affinity Designer. They actually have their own t-shirt designer on there too if you have Vexels. So I wanted to show you how it works, how powerful it is, some of the things that it does. Uh, it does a lot of different things, so I'm gonna have to show you step-by-step step on different things. It has a lot of templates and, and things like that. So we'll go over each of the things and what happens when you download it. So what do you get with it, what kind of files you get and how you can use it and the size and everything. Lots to see in this video if you're interested in the t-shirt maker, another different t-shirt maker. I wanna show you all different kinds and this one is on Vexels, um, pretty powerful. I was surprised on all the things that it does. So um, let's go to Vexels right now and see exactly what this t-shirt maker is all about. So here we are on Vexels, vexels.com. You can see right there. This is my Detour Shirts page. Um, if you come here, if you want to get Vexels and you find out that the t-shirt maker is a great thing and the graphics and things after playing with it, um, you can do that. And I have a Mother's Day bundle here. You can still make some Mother's Day t-shirts with this. Free download, by the way. And you can try out um, the t-shirt maker. So I'm going to put a link to this page in the description. So just scroll down from, you'll, you'll get to right here. Just scroll down all the way and try it out. So let's do that right now. So the first thing that you'll see, the first thing is it will go to graphics, but let's start at the top here. Um, right here it says t-shirt mock-ups. You can see by default it has this mock-up. You can change the person if you want a different mock-up. So we'll just double click on it. And here um, it really wants you to look at new templates. I'm gonna just click on that so it goes away. We're gonna, we're gonna look at the templates, don't worry. Uh, and then you can see different things. So the reason why it puts it on a shirt is when you download this, it's also gonna download a mock-up, which is really cool. So you can change the T color. I'm gonna go to this, the first one right here just because I like how straight it is. Uh, you can pick any one of these and it doesn't have to be on a person. They do have a couple that are just free um, hanging on a hanger, hanging on a hanger, this sweatshirt as well. So um, pretty cool, lots of different ones here you even got hoodies long sleeve short sleeves and uh, anything like that so you can also put it in the back if you're the type of person that wants to put uh, designs on the back they also have that mock-up on the back so you can see right there too so really cool but i'm going to use front and this one and you can change the t color too so by default it's white but if you click here they have some custom t-shirt colors a lot of these are the ones that are on Merch by Amazon colors too. I don't know if they're exactly the ones, but they, they look a lot like the ones on Merch by Amazon, so that's really cool. Um, and of course, you can pick another color if you want here. There's no eyedropper tool on here, which I wish they had, but there's not really anything to eyedrop on this part, but I think it'd be nice to have the eyedropper tool on some of the other color picker things. And if you want to change the background, by default, it's this background, but you can put them in front of a building or things like that, which is really cool for your mock-up so you can change your mock-ups you know, for different things. So I'm just gonna use it here so it doesn't get distracting. So black, I like doing it on black because black t-shirts sell the most. All right, so now we did that. The next thing here are graphics. So there's tons of graphics. You can see over 100,000 graphics. So you can click on this right here. Uh, it was black, but you can change the color and it opens up this thing. Let's say I wanna change the black color to white and then hit apply and you can see now it's on white. So tons of designs that you can go here and they have a few groups, groupings. So uh, ribbons, which is really nice. Uh, you can find all these ribbons. Let me pick one right here. So you can do like that and then put text in here or something like that, you know, or arrows, things like that and make change the color. So lots of cool things like that. Um, icons, cool icons, shapes, which is really handy. Uh, dividers. This when you ever need like a little space or want to divide stuff, like arrows and things like that, I think this is really cool. Just tons of that. Frames, if you want to put it in frames or starbursts or things like that, 
these are cool too just a lot of them and badges i really like the badges probably the best because you can kind of starts off your design like you can do this and just add text in here and kind of almost instant design right so that's a that's a cool one right here so um that's the graphics and then we have shapes and we got draw so they got a pencil kind of thing here where you can just draw like this um things like that so the next one is colors you can see you would need something to add colors to we're going to add that later um, next we're going to do templates we'll come back to colors because i want to show you templates and we need something in here to to color so let me go down here you can see just tons of templates for holidays as well we got easter here um peace you got um uh, just other stuff you know fun stuff too saint patrick's day um, unicorns let's see where's one that i i think I'll, I'll just do this one right here so you can see when i click it it changed the background color to the background color that's right here but we can change that if we want and then make sure that we fit it to the size that we want and this right here toggle print area you can see that's the print area that it wants it to be so make sure that it, it needs to be in there it can't go too high or, or else when you download it it won't show so make sure that you put everything inside of there and you can turn that off if you don't want the lines so the next thing in here is text so if you click on here you can ungroup this whole thing like this and now these things are editable so you know you can change the wording on this so let's say you want it to say college instead you can easily type on here so you know you got almost the same shirt design but you're changing some things which is cool now one of the things that i like about the text thing is you have all these shapes so you could do the fish shape the arc the arc wrap all these things let me show you what this does right here arc upper so you can see it keeps the text font and everything and it just changes it to do that isn't that cool and then you can move things back and forth so moving this send to front and move this to front and you can move this to the back and so on right so that's fun there and you can move you can click on this and kind of move it down if you don't want it so tall and then you can move this out of the way everything's editable on here so it's not just a flat thing there's layers to this and let's say i wanted to do uh say college done and then let's see and then i'll show you how to type a text so you can just add text here right here and then you can double click to edit like it says and then just type so um let me just do back to gaming just something fun like that and then let me show you you can do warp down so I'll do it like that and let's use a, a different font here and say we want this font there you go easy to change the font and you can move this in and out and you can change the color so going here edit the colors and let's say we want this white instead so you can totally do that so you can do any of these uh, these would be fun the wave upper and lower uh, just play around with those those are so fun and then text badges look you can also do stuff like this where you have almost a design already started kind of like the templates but this is more for text and these are all editable text too so lots of fun here we got some weathered filters distress filters and things like that so this is this is really cool so let's go back well let's do upload you could upload your own stuff i'm not going to do that in this tutorial let's see saved you can save this project and you can see the layers so if you can't quite click on it like we had here we can click on this thing and move it up and down things like that so um, you can see by clicking on here and here what they are the ones that are text will sh show the text the ones that are graphics will just show this little thing here and you can move this up and down by grabbing this and this is just making it front or back if you don't want to do that front or back let's see if there's anything else um the one thing that we did not see is this colors and they have their own color palette so 
Uh, you can save it like this. The thing I would do is save it before you change the color. So let's do this. Let's save. And we have that one right there. We can come back to it. Now let's go to the color palette and try out these different colors. So watch what happens. It changes all the colors just like it does in Canva. You can change the colors around and just, you know, oh, that one was nice. I wish I should have saved that. I went too fast. So there we go. And try it with different color um, t-shirts too. So let's come in here. Let's say we want to do one on black. Come back here to the T color. Let's do black and then go back here to the colors. And let's do something with some light colors here. That could work. That could work too. That's fun. So have fun with this. Um, play around with the colors. Of course you can do this. And then if you see one that you kind of like, but just want to change another color, you could come in here and still change this color to white or whatever color you want, right? Come in here, change that to white. And maybe this, maybe this done right here to white and kind of make that use white as one of your colors to make it stand out. So that way yours looks different from anybody else using this. And of course you're changing the font and things like that. I would probably change out one of the this here if you wanted to take this out you can see everything's independent so I can come in here and maybe look for another video game controller like that and maybe pick one that has lots of colors you know maybe this one right here like that and now we can go back in let's see if this works with the color picker so that it's the same. So now, now we can make sure that it matches with the color picker, right? Yeah, so fun. Hey, that's a nice one. So I'll come back in here and do this white again. Maybe this, this thing, right? White again too. Something like that. So have fun with this, play around with stuff, try different graphics. I love these badges right here. I think this is a really cool one. And when you can switch out, like this one has a tiger, but maybe you could look for a, you know, a different animal, a different thing. Um, let me show you what happens when we download it now. So once you figure out what you want here, um, I want this one to be white too. Okay. Cause that gives it some pop. Okay. So I'm done with this. All right. I'm going to hit download and it's going to download to my downloads folder. Are you sure? It's going to see if it's cut off too. So if it was cut off, it would show that it's cut off right there and it's not. So I'm going to hit download. And it's also telling you to try the mock-up generator, but you're going to see that it we have a mock-up already by doing this. I'm going to close this and I'm going to open it here. So these are the designs that came in. So you can see, I'm going to open up the PNG first just to show you what size it is. I'm going to hit command I and you can see right here, it's 4,500 by 5,400, which is the perfect Amazon merch size. In fact, we don't actually need that size anymore because they changed it, but this is uh, at least the right size, the right, right width, um, perfect width for that. And next, if we do the JPEG, um, you can see, the JPEG is actually the mock-up that we saved. So this is really cool. You can use this on your social media stuff and things like that when you're doing um, sharing your design. And then this SVG uh, is kind of nice. I'm gonna open it in Affinity Designer so you can see. So here in Affinity Designer, um, it's right there. It just remembers everything. It converts your text to curve most of the time. Sometimes I've seen it that it doesn't, but you can move things around here and color this in Affinity Designer if you want, because it's a SVG, it's vectors. So if I click on it, I can change change some things around. So, so that is it for the T-shirt maker in Vexels. I was really impressed on what it did. Uh, there's some things that I would add, like the eyedropper and uh, things like that, but a lot of things that it does, I was really surprised with the uh, text badges. Like this is almost an instant T-shirt, and you can just change the text. I really like the templates. There's so many of them, uh, lots of ideas. And of course the graphics, um, these shapes, and I, I don't use draw that much, but the shapes and the graphics are pretty cool. And the last one and the text, this thing, the text shapes, like, um, I think this pays for itself because you can't do this in affinity designer and it's nice that you can do these kind of wavy things. So, uh, I'm going to have fun with this. And, and there's so many fonts. I didn't show you all the fonts. So let's 
go back here. If I did here, like tons of fonts, right? So a lot of them are the same fonts that they use on Canva. So a lot of these free ones that uh, are used everywhere, just some cool fonts. So that is it for the Vexos t-shirt maker. So go and play with it, have fun with this. You can try it out for free. I'll put a link in the description to, to my page so you can try and do these things that I, I did today. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was super helpful for you and you can see how many things are on that t-shirt maker on Vexos. Go ahead and try it out. I'll put the link in the description again um, to that page, my detour shirts page, so you can scroll down and try it. If this was really helpful for you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. The question of the day for this video is, what other t-shirt designer have you seen online that you want me to try? Uh, if there's some other ones, we've tried Canva already, we've tried Vexels. Are there any other ones out there uh, that I haven't tried yet? If you want me to try them, leave that in the comments and I'll, I'll do a video on it and try it out. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more t-shirt design videos, make sure to click on these right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.